line calling the plays and right away using tempo here. Not something he featured all that often at Kansas State, but he's a respected offensive mind. Both offenses tonight, they need seven. There's a flag before the snap. Pass is incomplete, intended for Allen. Covered by Morrison, who's been a lockdown corner. Offside, defense number five, five yard penalty, third down. Gubikar Traore jumps and make a little noise here. Again, they jump off. Again, it's going to be a free play as Wegman launches down the sideline. It's broken up there, and now a flag comes in for a second Notre Dame penalty. Cyrus Allen was being defended along the sideline by Christian Gray, so offside and P.I. it looks like. Yeah, I think Jalen Snead jumped again. Wigman using that, that hard clap gets him to jump again for the third time. See how frustrated Marcus Freeman is once that middle wants them to mentally lock in there and then the interference at the end I the official closest to it he wanted to wave it off he he thought it was okay it was a clean play it was the official on trailing that actually made the, the two call fouls on the play both by the defense offside defense that penalty is declined pass interference number 29 15 yard penalty an automatic first off yeah, that's the corner opposite of Morris in the All-American what do you think Billy on that call I've got the DPI on it. it yeah. Is it and because of the, the, he didn't look till late and got yeah, his late look, receiver? early contact on okay. it? Okay. It's a third penalty of Notre Dame's defense. That one stings when it's third and ten. You're going to get off the field. This is up and over Jordan Clark there. A little tempo on second down. The pass is complete to Jade Walker. He is brought down right near the marker. He's going to be just short. Xavier Watts. Xavier the top interceptor in the country a year ago and they're, they're gonna pull Christian Gray over and talk to him or actually he's coming here to the wide side remember Cam Hart moved on he's no longer a part of this team and everybody wanted to know who's the corner opposite of Ben Morrison gonna be Christian Gray has won the job and here early in this game I think Colin Klein trying to go after him on some pressure crowding the line they bring pressure Wegman back pedaling across the middle low throw is incomplete making the long run to get in his face there on the blitz was Jordan Botello. Uh, Botello, but also the safety. Look how he just kind of, hey, I'm in coverage. Just kind of disguising, completely fools the offensive line with that different look. And because he had to pick up the blitz, it did free up Botello there to be able to get the pressure. Now you go to the pass. Wegman again takes a look, comes back to the left, and the throw is low. He makes with an urgency as if he can return. I'll keep you posted. Okay. Wegman's throw, catch made. Allen curls and makes a first down across the 35. Go Xavier Watts. Wegman short throw across the middle. He led his receiver right into traffic. That was Walker. Dangerous throw. B very, very dangerous. You, you like the route concept motion here. Get up and work across. You'll see the receiver coming in. Walker, he's just trying to get behind Noah Thomas, number three. But you're right. That is in the heavy traffic. It's got to be a very, very accurate throw to have a chance. Big time, as we expected. Yep. The, the Aggies, 10 yards in the second quarter. They can get a couple more to that total right there. Short completion to Walker. Immediate tackle by a huge way so far. You bring pressure. And there's a downfield shot, but way over the head of Cyrus Allen, who was well covered. Morrison was right on him. Tough to beat him. Oh, well, yeah. I mean, it, this is an example of why you're not having com many completions downfield. By the way, you're going against maybe the top corner in college football. They move him into the slot for this matchup. He's stride for stride. I mean, he's in his hip pocket. He looks back. If that ball is thrown accurately, it's an interception. This is why you don't see you see that right bar, his hand, using that bar on that right side. When you're in phase, we're going to continue to be multiple on that down. Wegman steps back. He's thrown the two picks, but he gets this one out. And Walker has got some room. And it's a first down inside the Notre Dame 40. Pick up 11. Yeah, there you go. Again, you're trying to beat the All-American corner. He's moved over into the slot. This is the matchup. Wigman's trying, he got separation. Ball comes out late. He's still able to come back to the football. And then. Well, they tried to get Notre Dame to flinch. That happened a lot in the first half. Irish held their water that time and a downfield throw. They bring pressure. Ball is out quickly and the catch is made by Moss, who cuts it back to the inside. Takes a hard hit. Knocked down about a yard and a half short. 
Long throw to the sidelines and going down low to make the game type thing. That's what they're hoping for. This is Moss again. And Moss, a nice run for a first down, picks up 12. The defense. Longest run of the day. Wegman on first down. Long looping throw to the end zone. And out comes a flag. Walker cover by Jaden Mickey. Was it catchable? Penalties again on Notre Dame. Helping the Aggies cause. Remember Walker 6-4. Mickey listed at 5-11. I don't know if he is. Pass interference. Defense number seven. Foul occurred in the end zone by one of the balls placed at the two-yard line. I love, love the aggressive call by Colin Klein on first and ten after that big gain. They go to, to the air, to the matchup. Look at the difference in size there and the length that Walker has. Mickey's doing everything he can just to hold on there. Irish brings some pressure. Wegman backpedals, checks it down. And delivering a huge hit was Christian Gray as Walker made the catch. Yeah, Notre Dame plays so much man coverage. You know, if this is man, you're okay. That corner's down there sitting and waiting for this throw. Catches Walker by surprise and really catches Wigman, a quarterback by surprise. You don't want to throw that and lead him into a corner sitting there. But again, Al Golden mixing up coverage from man to zone. I don't think he's trying to get the Irish to jump. They don't. They're going to throw for it. Incomplete. The Irish take over as Christian Gray jumped the route. And this elite secondary makes one play to get the football back. Yeah, Chris, you're, you're all over it. We know about Morrison. We know about Xavier Watts. But tonight we saw an entire secondary from Notre Dame. And here he is. This is going to be a glance route. It's kind of a quick slant. Trying to use this as a rub. But watch the reaction and how he jumps this route to get underneath that potential rub. Gets underneath it. Almost steps in front of it. But most importantly on fourth down, knocks that ball away. And the Irish, wasn't pretty, doesn't matter. Went on the road in a tough environment. And they're going to get a win. Mike Mickens coaches these DBs. It's a smart experience.